For this problem, we need to find all real zeros of 2x to the 4th minus 5x to the 3rd minus 12x squared minus x plus 4. We're going to begin by using the rational zeros theorem to find our possible zeros. To do this, we take factors of our constant term, in this case 4, and divide them by the factors of our coefficient, which is 2. This gives us possible zeros of plus or minus 1 half, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and plus or minus 4. From here, we use synthetic division to do this. We plug a possible zero into the coefficients of the equation in order to produce a final term of zero, thus making the divisor a zero. First, we're going to try negative one. Now, you bring down the two, multiply it by the divisor, negative one, and then add the coefficient. So you bring down two, times negative one is negative two, plus the negative five equals negative seven, times negative one is seven, minus twelve is negative five, times negative 1 is 5, minus 1 gives you 4, times negative 1 is negative 4, which equals 0. And since we have a 0 as a final term, that means that negative 1 is a 0. We now have the equation 2x to the third minus 7x squared minus 5x plus 4. This can be broken down even further, so for our next 0, we're going to try to use 4. Using the new coefficients, we bring down the 2 and multiply by 4. So 2 times 4 gives you 8, minus 7 is 1, times 4 equals 4, minus 5 gives you a negative 1, times 4, negative 4, plus 4, and you get another 0. Since the final term is again 0, 4 is another one of our zeros. We currently have 2x squared plus x minus 1 as our equation. To simplify this further, we can factor it out, giving us 2x minus 1 times x plus 1. From this, we can derive that our remaining zeros are 1 half and negative 1. So the real zeros for this equation are negative 1 with a multiplicity of 2, since it occurs twice, 1 half and 4. 